Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I'm the owner of Ari Bea Sticker Shop. So I think I've decided I'm going to be filming another vlog. I'm going to be filming a few different clips throughout the week. Kind of showing behind the scenes of what it's like to be a sticker shop owner. I have a lot of designing and printing and cutting to do this week, so I thought I would take you guys along with me. I hope you guys have been enjoying the past few vlogs as well that I've been putting out on my channel. Um, they've been really fun to film and I'm really enjoying them. So if you guys want to see more of these vlog type videos, please do let me know. Um, so the plan for today, um, as you saw, I just did a little bit of organizing on my desk here because I need to clean everything up. I'm going to be doing a major filming day. I have a lot of unboxing videos to film. Uh, including this box from a Simply Gilded. I'm, that's going to be a video coming out on uh, my channel soon. And then I also have a few other unboxings of some planners that I purchased earlier. Um, they all kind of arrived and they've been sitting um, on my desk with a bunch of stuff that I want to set them up in. So I'm going to go ahead and film all of those videos and I will come back to you guys later. Okay, so I was just getting ready to film this other video and it seems like I have another package here that I do need to film. This is a package from Ferris Wheel Press that I'm going to be unboxing as well. I have a lot of videos now to film, so you guys better get ready because I have a lot to show you guys. That is another video down. I'm really happy that I was able to film these guys. I have a few more videos to go. I have one more. I have two more planner unboxings and then I have a Ferris wheel press unboxing, but I think I'm gonna do it in this video. I didn't plan to film this many videos all in one day, but I think I have the energy to finish filming the rest of my other videos. So I think I'm gonna go eat something and I'll come back and continue filming everything else. So as you guys can tell, it's a brand new day. I have been pretty busy doing a lot of designing. I really need to organize all of my stock and stuff like that. But as I was organizing, I realized I haven't talked to you guys about um, some of the new releases that I have in my shop. So I thought I would share them with you today. Um, I know a lot of you are Hobonichi users and um, have purchased your Hobonichi for 2024. I have purchased mine already and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. I'm so excited. I was meaning to film a video earlier um, going through the website and talking about some of the fun new covers that I saw during the preview lineup. However, I didn't have enough time to do that before um, the actual live was released. So I kind of feel like I missed out a little bit on the hype there and all of the fun. I think I would have had a lot of fun filming that video and I think you guys would have had fun watching it too. But for the rest of the year, I'm going to make sure that I get more videos out to you, um, especially showing all of my Hobonichis. So for the past few weeks, I have been working on a lot of new releases, including the new Hobonichi calendars and yearly and monthly kits. I need to do a lot of organizing because I printed a bunch. Um, ready to stock up my shop and I still have this one but I wanted to pull these out to share with you guys. Um, so as usual I have a lot of the yearly kits for the Hobonichi. I have them in A5, A6 as well as weeks so I thought I would share them with you guys. Um, I do have the yearly kits for uh, the cousin size and you can choose if you want it with mini date covers or if you want it with like a uh, big box. Oh, I don't think I brought some of the other ones, but like usual in my shop, there are always going to be two colorways and two font choices depending on what you guys are using. If you are using an Avec and want to switch up uh, your look halfway through the year, then you can do that. Otherwise, you can just choose your favorites. So as you can see here, I have two different colorways and two fonts. This is the gray classic. This one is the cute pink. There is also a cute gray, and then there is also... Um, a classic pink, so classic font, pink color. So I have these in all of the yearly sizes for the Hobonichi and like I said, comes with either mini date covers, which you can choose, um, or it comes with like a big box. I don't think I have the box that matches the A5, but kind of looks like this. So I have the A5 version, these ones are the Weeks versions, and again you can choose it to be with the mini day covers or with the box that covers up the previous year's calendar. And then I also have it in the A6 size here. So again, all of the font choices are available. See, this is an example of the classic pink. 
Can you guys see? I think it might be a bit too bright. Hold on. There, you might be able to see that a little bit better, but yeah. These are all of the font choices. Oh, here we go. So I have cute pink, cute gray, classic pink, classic gray. As per usual, I have them in all of the sizes, as I said, so you are more than welcome to choose whichever one you like. And then I also have the monthly perpetual calendars. I love using these as well, so I have them in all of these sizes. I have them in A5, which are these. As you can see, these are the perpetual calendars, and then I have them in A6 as well. These are the A6 ones, which are very similar to that one. Um, you can use these A6 ones in the original Avec and um, the original, the Avec and the Han, as well as some of the A5 ones. Uh, it just won't work on the English version because the spacing of the grid is different. This is the first year that the Han is available on September 1st. Uh, last year I believe the Han was available, but I think it was either October 1st or November 1st. That was the release date. Um, but this is the first year that they're releasing it with all the other Techos, so uh, these sticker kits will also work in those planners as well because they are the Japanese versions. Um, along with these kits, I do also have a lot of the like full page stickers. I've been using them a lot and you might have seen some videos of it already on my channel from previous years, but I have the full page sticker calendars. I have it in Monday Start, Sunday Start, as well as one page and two page options, and that's for all the sizes, A5, A6, and weeks. As you can tell, I've been doing a lot of designing, and then I also um, have all of the full page trackers. So those are all of the trackers, like the monthly tracker, the life in pixels, um, the yearly tracker, the important dates. What other ones do I have? I have some reading trackers as well, some finance trackers. Um, all that kind of good stuff. So if you guys want to see that, check out the shop because everything's already up on the website. I put them up early and they have been up for the last few weeks in case you haven't already seen them and haven't seen any of my posts, then you can go ahead and check that out there. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about here, um, these are the yearly kits that I have been showing you guys. This is what it looks like in my Techo. This is my first half of the Techo actually. My other one's in the other room, but... I just pulled this one out so you guys can see. You might have seen this already on my YouTube channel, but this is um, the yearly kit as well as a few deco stickers. These deco stickers are also from my shop. They are hand-drawn by me. Um, it is from the Books Are Magic collection in my shop. So those are all those deco stickers. And this is how I'm really enjoying putting together my monthly pages. And so those are all the Hobonichi releases that I put out, but I also did a few bullet journal ones. These ones I'm seriously obsessed with because I've been wanting to do these ones for a while. So um, I got a few requests to make some bullet journal daily date stickers. So this is what I have done. So I have designed these 52 or 53 week stickers here um, and they are great for bullet journaling because if you are a person that writes out or draws out your own weeklies, then these are really great to make sure your dates are correct. So here I have um, starting in January, January 1st to 7th, because that is the first week of that year, of the upcoming 2024 year. And then I have stickers um, all the way down until December. So you get the last stickers December 30th to January 5th. Um, of next year. So these are really great for bullet journals if you are a person that likes to date your stickers and I have them in two different colorways. This one is kind of like a faux craft material and then this one is uh, just white. I think these would be really handy in undated journals or if you're using like an undated like moleskin or redating a moleskin or a listrum or something like that. Um, those are really nice to have and then I also did some of these daily dates as well. So these are all of the days of the year and I have obviously 12 pages because I divided them into all of the different months. So again, I have them in craft and then white. Again, really good for dating a blank notebook. So you're using a Lustrum for next year instead of a Hobonichi. I got you covered. You can use these stickers. They're really fun and very easy to use. Um, one of the last things that I wanted to show you um, alongside the Hobonichi release, because it's kind of along the same lines as like calendar um, type things, I also designed these little 2024 calendars. They're so cute. They turned out so well. 
Um, these are some like doodle calendars that you can put in your techo. These actually do fit in the Hobonichi Cousin weekly section in case you're redating a older Hobonichi, uh, but you can obviously use them in anything. They're really cute. I did all of the little doodles here and I think it turned out really well. I kind of made this one a seasonal one as you can see and like always Monday and Sunday start are available. So I have that and then I also have a different version without the doodles. This one comes in different fonts as well. Monday and Sunday starts and then this is the other version that I have. This one is more planner themed. It's a revamp from one that I had um, from the previous year. But now with the 2024 calendar, of course. Cute, huh? I'm obsessed with these. I'm definitely going to be using these in some of my undated journals or in like my TN inserts that I've been using. So that is all the things that I wanted to show you. Okay, I am so excited right now. I'm finally unboxing these gorgeous Ferris wheel press goodies. Oh, this one looks so good. Okay, so it seems like I have a few new inks to share with you guys. So I have this one, which is called Brilliant Beanstalk. It is a really nice green color. Let me see. The base is green and it has a champagne shimmer. Ooh, I'm excited. So as you can see here, there is a matching fountain pen to the Brilliant Beanstalk. Let me open this one. I'm so excited. Ah. This one looks like it's going to be a gorgeous... Oh, this is a gorgeous color. Let me see. Ooh. So I'm. it does have a converter on the inside here as well. Very pretty. I love the design on the nib here. It has a little horse on it. Maybe I can film a reel a little bit later on showing you guys what it looks like because I won't be able to get a good look at it right now. And then there's this one. I love this one. Cabernet on the lake. It looks like a perfect fall color. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. How gorgeous is this red ink? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see. I love this. My favorite thing about my favorite thing about um, having a bunch of new inks to show you guys is swatching them. It's literally one of my favorite things to do. Okay, let me go find my fountain pen. Look at how pretty the champagne shimmer is in here. So gorgeous. I'm gonna try and swatch this now. Oh, can't open the bottle. Look at how gorgeous the red shimmer is in here. Ah, so pretty, I can't wait to use it. Okay, so you can see how gorgeous these inks are. I love them, they're so pretty. I think especially these few that I have recently um, received are perfect literally for fall. I love these colors so much. Um, I think I'm going to be obsessed with this Cabernet on the Lake. I might like it even more than Song of Scarlet just because of the um, like shading in this one. It's really beautiful and I love um, the deep intense berry color of it. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm so excited. Um, as usual, I do have a code for Ferris Wheel Press down below in my description box. Um, you can get a free ink charger set with your order if you use my code. You just need to add everything you want into the cart and then add the charger set that you want into your cart as well and then add my code at checkout and it will deduct the price for you so be sure to take advantage of that because you'll be able to try three new inks from ferris wheel press so i think that is a very good deal definitely recommend all right you guys so it is now september like i mentioned earlier in this video i did order my 2024 hobonichis for the new year uh, i want to ask you guys what you ordered or what you're planning on ordering or using for 2024 because as you can see I have a lot of planners here 
I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Obviously Hobonichi planners will of course be in my lineup. I'm currently using a lot of tetras right now so I currently have this one which is housing my A5 tetro. This is the Avec one as you can see. Um, I've been using this one of course and it just has a bunch of different like stickers and stuff inside of it right now. <laughs> Um, I'm seriously obsessed with this. I actually didn't show much um, setting up this planner um, in July, actually. I kind of wish I did. I just wanted to quickly show off how cute this little bookmark looks. I'm obsessed with this right now. Maybe I'll quickly show you a few of my pages from July to show you. This is what I've been doing lately in my Techo um, as my like catch-all kind of commonplace planner. I do want to continue using the Cousin. Of course, I do love my... Oops. Hope we weeks here. I've been using this one a lot. I've been using this Tesho a lot. Um, I have my finances in the back and I've been journaling uh, throughout the other pages. I show a lot of this actually on my Instagram. I'm still obsessed with this Marie cover, by the way. It is so, so cute. Um, I'm curious what you... I'm, I'm curious what everyone purchased for 2024 because this one I like knew I had to get because it was Disney related. <laughs> so I have that. Techo as well. Um, I'm obsessed with that weeks and I do have my A6 Techos. Oops. I have my A6 Techos here in this gorgeous leather cover here. As you can see it's still pretty chunky. Um, this is For me this is a pretty healthy chunk for um, my techos, I love just like pasting in quotes and images and stuff like that. Lately I've also been really enjoying doing a few uh, like mood boards and stuff like that. So I've been pasting a ton of stuff in here as well. This sort of vibe is definitely what I've been going for. Um, and I've just been using this in this TN cover. So those are the techos that I'm currently using and then I have a bunch of other planners that I'm using. Um, so this big guy, this moleskin, uh, I've been really enjoying and I've been using it for uh, like astrology, uh, researching transits, my own uh, birth chart, my own natal chart, um, as well as doing some manifestations and reflections in here. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, I sort of, uh, I wanted to do this a lot more this year, but I couldn't find like a system that I really enjoyed or kind of like a routine. So I'm just starting to get into a good routine with it. Um, that's why I've been obsessed with this one lately. But as you can see, I do have a few other planners here that I am really, really want to use. You might have seen me set up this video in my last vlog and in a couple other videos. This is a Passport TN. It's so cute. I'm in love with how this looks. It's so adorable and the size is quite small as well. So I also want to use this for kind of on the go. I really love this pen in here because I think it's so cute. I don't know how many planners you guys are using for next year because as you can see I do have a lot. I still also do have this um, pocket planner here. This is a pocket TN and I also do want to use another moleskin in here. I have this guy in here and I might end up using some of my bullet journal stickers that I showed you earlier on in this video in here if I don't use this one as my on the go planner. But I have so many ideas and so many things that I want to set up that I don't really know what I want to use for next year. That's why I wanted to come on here and ask you guys what planners you guys are using for next year. Um, are you still going to be using Hobonichi? Um, I think Take a Note is going to be pretty popular next year as well. Are you going to be using Traveler's Notebooks? I really hope Traveler's Notebooks take off again because they were really fun. Are you into ring planners? I really wanted to ask you guys for your opinion because I don't think I ask that often on YouTube here. I know I ask on uh, like threads as well as on Instagram. But I want to hear what you guys think. How many planners are you going to be using um, in 2024? Are they going to be Hobonichis? Are they going to be Traveler's Notebooks? Are they going to be uh, bullet journals? Let me know in the comments down below and we can have a fun little chat. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to revise my whole uh, 2024 lineup. I'm not sure how many planners I'm going to have. I'm not sure how many journals I'm going to have because of course I need to keep up with these two guys which are technically journals. This one's also a journal. But there's so many options, there's so much choice, and of course around this time, around September time, everyone is, you know, wanting to get their things for their new setup. So I'm also going to be slowly putting out 2024 stuff in my shop as well. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video actually. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope it was uh, fun for you guys. Again, let me know in the comments down below what planners you're going to be using, uh, what tetros you bought during the September 1st launch, uh, what planner covers you guys are going to be using, because there's so many different planner options now that um, I want to know what you guys are using. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!